Bring us your baffling. Bring us your audacious. We want your sticky notes, sketchbooks, and scribbles. Let's pin them to the wall, kick them around. Kick them around, see what happens. Because we're in the how do I get this startup off the ground business. The taking your business, global business. We're in the problem solving business. 400,000 people. Ready to help you solve problems while they're still called opportunities. opportunities. From figuring it out to getting it done. We're here to help. David Suntz up here with Rick Remblack after Akron takes down Northern Illinois 5-4 to four on a game-winning sacrifice fly by Brian Lees in the bottom of the ninth inning. The Zips earn the sweep against the Huskies. We'll start off with this. Brian Lees up, bases loaded, one out in the ninth. What did you like about his approach in that situation? Well, he knew what, the, what he needed to do in a situation like that. Uh, we needed a sacrifice fly. you got to get something out of the infield. And we had the right, right guy at the right uh, spot at that time because Brian, I mean, I, it looked, I think just about every uh, ball that he ended up swinging at, he ended up squaring it up. And he had a great weekend. I mean, he had hard outs and he swung very, very well. Uh, he had a very good weekend. So that we had the right guy. It was a good situation and obviously he took advantage of it. And all he had to do is just get the ball deep enough in the outfield and he did. You guys were down by two runs on two different occasions in this game, including late in the ball game. What did you like about the team's fight and coming back? Well, you know, um, the thing is you got to take advantage of maybe some mistakes that the, the opponents make, and, and there were a couple plays that they didn't make. Um, you got to hit batter, then we have a play, a double play attempt at second base, you know, and they don't stay on the bag. It gives us life, and, um, you know, we took advantage of it, and we talk about on our side not doing that for the opponent. They did it to us. We took advantage of it and got us right back in the ball game. And I would say that there's, there was probably maybe four to five plays that they just didn't make that we emphasize of, of going over and above an average play and making it. And uh, to our guys' credit, you know, they, they did a good job and hung in there and, and they created uh, the mistakes and uh, took advantage of them. Pat Dyer pitched for the first time in a month since he got struck with a line drive in the head. Three and two thirds innings of scoreless relief kept you guys in the ball game. What was the best thing about seeing him on the mound and also his performance? I think it picked everybody up. You know, it was good to see him out there. This was the first game action. We threw him in the inner squad a little bit just to, to get his feet wet. But I think it, it was a morale booster for not only him, but for everybody else to, to, to get him back on the mound. And we need him. You know, he's, he's done a great job for us. Um, that we knew that there weren't going to be any side effects, um, lingering effects, you know, of getting hit in the head because we saw it in an inner squad. And I want to say it may have been the first batter that he faced inside uh, when we were practicing a, a comebacker. He didn't flinch. He made the play, and he had, had one hit right at him again. He just filled it like it was a, a routine play and, and finished it. But it was really good to see him back in action because we need him. Great to see Pat back out there after suffering that injury a month ago, and awesome to see him earn the win for you guys, a walk-off win. First Max Series sweep of the season. Congrats on the win, Coach, and thanks for the time. Appreciate it, David. We need it, and it was, it was a good weekend for us. Go Zips.